let's see how we can automatic write this function using copilot in visual studio code and then we will also see how we can bug fix automatically without doing anything using copilot so first go to your extensions here and search for copilot and now you let's see these options now most of these are paid or you have to use open as api key but there is this fix copilot right you can just click on this or you can search for fix copilot directly and you'll see this now click on install and once this is installed let's go to our code and let's see what we can do first of all is if you have some code you can help uh, yourself understand the code by using fix copilot so if i do this and right click and hover over fix copilot and just do explain code now this code will be explained to you in a very detail so as you can see it is saying the selected code snippet is an html list that represents this this so and so and so on so you know it's a lot of explanation for just this two lines of code now let's see how we can automatically write functions so let's say we want a function that will give you the next year right so uh, uh the function name is get next year and since the function name is pretty explanatory what you can do is just select this function right click and hover over fx copilot and then click on complete code so now this code will be completed as you can see it is uh, suggesting this code so what you can do is click on the second button here and wherever your cursor is this code will be inserted there so if i do this as you can see it is getting current year and then adding one to the next year so this is what i needed now let's say we want to uh, in next year we want to get next leap year so if your function name is pretty explanatory self explanatory uh, it will again help you do this but what do you do if your function name is not self explanatory i'll show you what just in a minute so again let's generate code for this function okay insert it and now we have our next leap year getter ready now let's say we want to get leap year but uh, after year 2100 so if you want to write get next leap year after the year 2100 now this is going to be a very long function name and it's not quite practical and i'm not sure if it will work or not so let's see if this works or not okay let's complete the code So yeah, it did not work anyway. So what you can do is, oh yeah, <laughs> I think it worked, but uh, it is getting, it is setting static, not dynamic. So what we can do is, uh, let's say, just get the peers. And what you can do is you can write documentation or comments, pretty explanatory comments. So what you can do is this function should return a list return the list of first five leap years after the year 2100 now if this is what you want your function to do now select this everything and again let's complete the code and let's see if this works okay so this pretty much worked but it is again static so yeah if i do this i'm getting four next four years after the first leap year after 2100 and this is pretty efficient if you think about it <laughs> okay so yeah now let's say we want to write test case for it so you can just do this right click and do generate tests and tests will be generated also it can help you fix bug let's see it's pretty smart too so if i do function let's say add numbers and i'm passing a comma b comma c here and if i do z equals to a plus b plus c and then i return let's say a now the syntax is correct but logically we should return z not a right 
Now, Fix Copilot also understands this and helps you fix it. So if I do uh, Fix Copilot and Fix Box, this should be fixed. And if you have syntax error, syntax errors are solved pretty easily anyway. So now, yeah, if I use this, this as you can see I clicked it twice so as you can see it is now returning Z it is changing value from A to Z to return the sum so yeah it's pretty smart so this is how you can use copilot in your visual studio code if you have any questions let me know in the comments below